So let me just kind of set the scene. We're talking about transparency and vlogging. Transparency is a huge issue uh, in the industry as a whole. Um, we all know that brands have turned to vloggers, and vloggers have certainly embraced brands. Um, and it's kind of going beyond, way beyond the usual suspects. Just focus on, on the brands, if I may. Yeah. How do you choose which brands you work with? Presumably you get more offers than yeah. uh, either you can deal with or that you would wish to deal with. So how do you choose which ones you want to work with? I think we turn down about 80% of the stuff that comes to us. Um, it has to be relevant. It has to be a product we like. It, it has, has to be a brand that we believe in. Most it has importantly, to be, it has to be something that um, our audience know that we would like or yeah. that we have used or mentioned in the past because the audience is the most, most important thing to us and making sure that we're also true to who we are. Sometimes a brand could come to us with an absolutely excellent product and it's an excellent brand but they bring us a script and they're like this is how we want it done and it's just a flat no where the sort of platform is and probably a few years ago we wouldn't have actually been on the stage but PR is around the fact of, of getting um, influencers who are really interested in subjects to be able to talk about it. Sometimes we do paid and sometimes we do generally, genuinely out of their own interest they actually work with us. And I think you know you have to do your due diligence and make sure that the people that you're associating the brand with you, you think are reputationally uh, uh, you know, in the right place, but um, at the end of the day, these guys have got brands that they need to look after uh, and, and watch out for, so if they're doing things that aren't right, their brand will suffer. I mean, how close do you feel we're getting to, you know, treading on this kind of trust and transparency issue here, and there is a risk? I do believe that there is a sort of a self-responsibility of brands, but the, the win-win, which everyone's talked about here, is when you get that intersection right, and it comes from the passion of the influencer, then all the issues kind of fade away. And it's, it's inherently authentic and cuts through with the target audience.